Hello scientists, it's Gisa from Butterfly Garden. Do you see who's visiting us from behind the magic door? You got it, it's a slug and a snail. Do you notice any differences between a slug and a snail? We're going to learn a little bit more about those two creatures today. I have a story called Snails and Slugs, Slimy Superstars, written by David R. Morgan. Across the lawns at dawn, you'll see our shimmering trails like pearly poetry. And under the moon, we have a ball leaving shiny patterns behind us as we crawl. We're gastropods, and this is our tail. It's more likely you know us as the slug or the snail. On one big foot we move, on the land and by sea. And one thing's for sure, we're very slimy. Some snails have shells that may weigh them down. Without them, they could race swiftly around. But slugs, however, are much less hasty and find everything in the garden so very tasty. Snails have shells that spiral in a clockwise direction. And snails and slugs have no skeleton at closer inspection. There is one pair of tentacles used just for smell. And another pair has eyeballs that help us see well. Snails can have up to 90,000 babies. Beyond belief? And each snail has a tongue lined with 14,000 teeth. To use like graters shredding all sorts of yummy stuff. But wow, we slugs have 27,000 teeth. That's more than enough. Slugs can stretch their bodies like elastic man. 20 times longer than you or I can. Olive comb, bonnet, pointed prong, and bubble are all shell shapes your tongue has to juggle. We snails and slugs find it easy to date. We're both boy and girl, our own best mate. There are giant snails that can live till age 25, but for most six years is all we usually survive. Cone snails are deadly, but they live in the sea, while leopard slugs roam all around happily. Edible escargot, snails in France need to hide real quick for the French eat them served in loads of garlic. But now let peace fall on us slugs and us snails as we cruise slowly on our silvery trails. While others breathe hard and hurry on by, we just relax, smile, and wave them goodbye. I'm gonna to read to you a little bit about snails and about slugs. The snail is the common name for gastropod mollusks that have shells and are found everywhere in the world, living on land and in fresh and salt waters. There are over 43,000 different kinds of snails. Here are some additional facts about snails. Snails can only crawl. Even those that live in water cannot swim. As they travel, they secrete a slime to act as a lubricant and an adhesive that helps them move across surfaces and even upside down. Most snail species have a ribbon-like tongue called a radula that contains thousands of microscopic teeth. The radula works like a file, ripping food up into tiny pieces. Their diet consists of leaves and stems of crops and flowers. The snail shell is present from the snail's early development, is attached to the snail, and grows along the, with the snail in a spiral shape. A snail cannot crawl out of its shell. The center coil of a shell is where it began in life, and as the snail grows, the shell grows around and around that center in a spiral form. Now, slugs. They get really bad press. Only a few slug species are pests. Most are a valuable part of land and water ecosystems around the world. They are recyclers of natural wastes. They are shellless gastropods and are related to the snails as well as oysters, clams, and octopi. There are thousands of slug species. Slugs can only crawl. Even those that live in water cannot swim. 
As they crawl, they secrete a slime to act as a lubricant and adhesive that helps them move across surfaces and even upside down, just like the snails. Slugs do not have any bones in their bodies. They have four tentacles and they can retract if they need to and regrow if lost. Slugs have thousands and thousands of teeth-like structures called a rodula, like snails, that work like a file ripping food into tiny pieces. Their diet consists of leaves and stems of crops and flowers. So they're very similar to snails. Slugs can produce up to 90,000 babies in a lifetime. And that's a lot of slugs. I hope you enjoyed learning more about slugs and snails. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our other videos on slugs. Thank you for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel. See you next time.